Creativity is all about moving and shaking a culture. With that being said, this interview was done solely on Vine. Vine is an app that lets you record anywhere for only seven seconds at a time. Difficult? Some? Fun? Yep, enjoy. You asked for it, I'm bringing it. Live interview with Antoine Tate, creator of the Vine Awards. It starts right now. Tune in. This is your boy Antoine Tate checking in with Coffee B of the Yes Movement. Make sure you stick around because it's going to be interesting. And I'm gone. No, I'm back. First off, I'm super jealous of you outside. It's super cold here. With that being said, where are you from? I'm outside because that's where I live. I'm drinking Coffee B. Now I'm from D.C. Southeast, 22nd Street. But I rep D.C. and the DMV. No worries. A little coffee always keeps you warm. But I know it's cold in the DMV. So where do you currently live? Oh. Was she flirting with me? Were you flirting with me? Oh, Lord Jesus. No, but I currently live in Los Angeles, California, where it never snows. Hey, hey, this is your interview, not mine. Nah, but yes, I'm jealous. What made you move to LA? Hmm? Easy. The big eaches? No, I had an internship. I didn't apply for it. Someone recommended me and they just gave me a call. Two weeks later, I just upped the move. It was a blessing, really. I didn't have any money. Still don't. All of my family struggling like everybody else. They all pitched in and helped me come to LA. I'm so thankful. My family has put so much faith in me. I proved them wrong. I've impressed them. I'm not doing it just for myself. I'm doing it for my family. I love them too much to bullshit. When family got your back, you can't fail. So since you don't want to let them down, what are some of the things you've done or gotten into since moving to LA? I love getting involved in the community, so I mentor. Through my seasonal job, College Summit, I prepare high school students with tools to get into college. I mentor at the Martin Luther King Elementary School down in uh, South Central LA. Pretty new, but I like it so far. It's with the one church that I go to. When I'm not mentoring, I'm just honing my own craft. Graphic design, fashion, production, film, music, dancing. I do it all. Man, I'm many talent time. Ladies don't all comment at once. Oh. Or fellas. Are you in school out there? What's your major? I'm no longer in school. I graduated from Penn State last year. Exactly a year. Major is communications. So like all the stuff I do now, that's where I learned it. Now that all the good stuff's out the way. Time for the great stuff. The Black Vine Awards, that is. How the heck did you come up with the concept? I didn't, actually. Flizzle did. He's playing around with it at first. Saw it, I thought it was awesome. But then I had a bigger vision, so I did it. But it was kind of modeled after the BET Awards. It was a joke at first, but then it got serious. I came up with other concepts as well at the same time. And by the way, I didn't just think about the awards concept. I thought about other stuff, which you'll find out later on. Got so many ideas, it's crazy. And I'm gone. Low-key, you started a movement. Participation was crazy. How did it make you feel when you got performances, commercials? People were investing into the show. So when it came to performances, voting, etc., people were mad. They were watching the show, which is a good thing, right? I knew it had got a little big because there was hate comments, racist comments. Big name Viners had something to say. You're doing something right when you get bad stuff. And on top of that, over 200,000 people visited the page. Over 60,000 people voted. It had many trends that night. Vine was on fire. Man, it got crazy after a while. People was mad about the name, the performer, who really won. What was up with that? People got their own opinions. I don't know why I had so much hate. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm thankful that it happened. That means they were watching, right? In terms of the name, people just ignorant. They complained about black. Even if I changed the name, the show would have been the exact same. No fucking difference. People whack, man. If it's open to everybody, why is it black? Because Black Vine held it down from the get-go. They supported me from the get-go. They revine, they like my shit. That's why. I'm gonna change the name. It just bothers me that black was an issue. Even for other black people. Diversity is great, but this shit ain't always real. And let's be real. Why can't we just be one? That shit ain't real. The moment we stop highlighting our culture, that shit will die. Black, Asian, European, I think no, period. So what did you really hope to accomplish with the Black Vine Award? Did you accomplish it or no? And what are your secrets for next year? I accomplished. I wanted to be fun, interactive, support the underdogs, promote different companies, different projects. I did that. I accomplished my goal for the BVAs. It was a small, fun project from the get-go. But I know that people was watching, and this will go on my resume, so I'm thankful. That shit was dope. I'm happy, man. How did the involvement make you feel? I mean, you was getting love from all over. Do you know how far your audience actually reached? I'll say this. I got love. It was crazy. It spread it to Facebook, Instagram, it spread to Twitter. People texted me. My friends tuned in. It was crazy. I had planned performances, commercials, red carpets. I wanted the involvement. But then there are people who just did it, and I didn't even have to ask. I saw you had different hosts and presenters. How were they picked? Did you have like a board or a committee? It varied. I asked people that weren't nominated, people who are kind of underdogs, people with little followers. And some people asked and I said, okay. I had a committee, Kayla, Chris, Gio, Slick, Cool Cash. And there was those who helped, like OBKNY, Fiverr Kel, Shady Game, and more. It's funny because during the whole show, I thought I was doing a whole job. Like I'm over it, F this. But like, the moment I finished, I was amazed by what I saw. Like it was crazy, yo. So is there anything epic? Because you do all things epic. Is there anything that you're working on now? Movie, community service, more events? Right now, hopefully I get to work on the Grammys, start my own clothing line, try to start a career in the music industry. I'm gonna just do whatever I want. I'm just have fun, do what I love. Vine is about to be my platform, but when I become that big media mogul like Oprah, and Tyler Perry, and Ted Turner, that will be me. Call me Mopra. <laughs> it's like, nah. Although an experiment, like Vine Entertainment is gonna be a thing. Programming, show, pure entertainment. People sleep on Vine, but Vine is the most powerful app out right now. It's instant success. If you build a following on Vine, they'll follow you everywhere. 
My other goals is use social media to my advantage. That award show opened me up to so many things, man. Like for real. I got plans, baby. I got plans. Did he just he just call me baby? Did you hear that? Okay. Nah, but speaking of following you anywhere, where else can we stalk you? I ain't Justin Bieber, but baby. <laughs> nah, seriously. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, WordPress, LinkedIn. I even got a Black Planet. See below. Everybody wants to know. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. When's the YouTube version coming? So I just ask it. And so the YouTube version, I had to start from scratch. My computer crashed, everything got erased. But it will be done this week. My goal is Wednesday, but uh, you know I'm black, so. Hmm. Hmm. Did I forget anything? Anything you want to mention that I didn't speak about? Don't let anyone tell you that Vine is just Vine. A book is just a book until you open it up and comprehend what it says. You can turn anything into gold. And just stay tuned for more. Vine is no longer just funny. Vine is entertainment. Before you know it, you'll start slipping from YouTube and TV. I bet. Don't be afraid to make moves. Struggle is real. But how are you going to achieve without the struggle? The struggle is what makes you a better person. Without it, you missing out on life. It ain't always easy to smile and be happy. But when you're actually doing things you love, it comes naturally. I woke up outside and I see palm trees. Nigga, I'm happy.